All right, show day. Just got to the venue. Just got to uh, Bloomfield High School here in Connecticut. Still waiting for the doors to open. All the competitors are out sitting outside, but uh, it's close to 90 degrees. So I'm going to sit in the air-conditioned car so I don't sweat my tan off and get any weird lines. But, uh, so yeah, we're uh, I'm stoked. I felt real good this morning. Had a nice light breakfast. Just had some two pieces of whole wheat toast, two eggs, half a cup of egg whites, and a banana. So just keeping the food what I normally do, had my regular vitamins and everything. So uh, nothing out of the ordinary, just trying to keep my body, just going about its routine, keeping it happy, not stressing it out. I feel really good condition wise. I think uh, you know, I think we really nailed it. You know, I think I had uh, Boston Market last night. I didn't do a full on cheat meal. I just uh, I kept it real light, small portions, mostly had chicken and vegetables and um, felt really good. I didn't have my sweet potatoes that I love from Boston Market. So I, I held on, I controlled myself, and I think it was good. I did a lot of posing practice in the evening. The wife and I really worked through my routine and my mandatories, and she really she really gave a good perspective. It's, it's so good when you have someone who can help critique your posing. It's much better than just setting up your camera like I've done through this whole time. So having a partner, a training partner, a spouse, a significant other, to help you is is critical so we made some refinements last night that i think will really help so i was really stoked for that decent sleep it's always tough to sleep with a spray tan you get to sleep in all your clothes i'm um, always worried about sticking to things the wife and i can't touch each other so i didn't sleep very well but i'm stoked fired up i'm gonna be rolling on this energy today so i'm gonna go you know a friend of mine from work is supposed to be competing too so i might go find, try and find her and then I want to get up close to the door because I want to get a good spot. Because I don't know if any of you have ever competed, but people cluster around the outlets and the good spaces in these venues. And then the rest of it gets very crowded and awkward. So I'm going to try and secure a good space when I get in there. So I'll keep you posted. It's show day. Let's do it. All right, everybody. I just wrapped up pre-judging. Felt solid. You know, I think I uh, peaked just right. Conditioning looks good. Super on point. And I pumped up really well. Looked really good, I think, under the lights. Um, it's all done. Now we just uh, relax and get ready for finals. I'm chilling right now. I'm gonna have my victory whoopie pie, have my victory cigar, because I'm re really happy with how things turned out. Couldn't have asked for a better result as far as my physique and my conditioning and, and how we peaked. And super proud of myself for doing it all myself on my own, sticking to my plan. Many of you know who followed this that I almost fell off lots of times, but we stuck with it. We saw it through to the end. Now the last thing we're gonna do is just do our posing routine this evening and just have fun. So I'm gonna relax, enjoy the show. Met some great people already, so I'm gonna just network and uh, make some new friends. Enjoy my victory cigar. We'll catch you guys after the show. I'll catch you. We'll All right, just wrapped up the day. Guess what, fam? Got that overall, baby. Got it, got first place, got the overall classic physique division. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Condition was on point, had a great time at the show, met some great people, had a great time and got that W. So I'm gonna go support some friends that are still here and then go grab some food. There it is. Right there. Overall champ. All right, Sunday afternoon, day after the show. We did it, guys. We got that W. Yeah, you know, I did uh, a lot of reflecting, a lot of thinking today. I'm still not quite prepared to do a full download yet. I did just want to get this video out and just give a shout out to everyone who has supported me, who has followed this journey. I hope to those who have watched the videos and followed the the blog along the way that this was interesting and, and hopefully that you learned something along the way. You know, I certainly did. This was a, an incredible learning experience for me, both physically and mostly mentally. Because if you've watched the videos leading up to the show, I struggled. I was in peaks and valleys all throughout. I struggled really hard at times. Other times I was on a, on a huge high. You know, I questioned my training. I questioned my diet. I questioned my condition. And I questioned everything all the way through. But I followed through with it. I stuck to my own plan. I believed in myself. Even though I doubted it along the way, I still, I didn't give up. And I... I stuck with it and I trusted it. And in the end, it turned out, yeah, I couldn't ask it for anything better. You know, my physique was absolutely on point. Yeah, the posing routine was fantastic. 
the mandatory posing was was perfect. Everything worked out according to plan. I mean, it could not have worked out any better. Um, you know, do I wish there was a bigger competitive field? Yes, but at the end of the day, you know, I still think I brought the absolute best in all areas that I possibly could. And that was a win for me before I even stepped on stage. Getting the overall trophy and the medal is just the icing on the cake. And my little boy was there to see me and we got to have pictures on the red carpet with the trophy and everything and my wife and, uh, and it was just amazing. And I, I met a lot of great people there, I had so much fun. And I think I made some, some great relationships that'll stick with me in shows in the future. Um, I had some people come up and recognize me from Instagram and, and one men's physique guy who was awesome. I really, I complimented his posing after he got off stage on prejudging. And uh, he said, yeah, I learned that from you and your Instagram. So that was just like, just blew me away, you know? And uh, the support from the people who, who came up to me after the show, after my routine and said that how much they enjoyed my posing and that, you know, one woman said that it was the, the highlight of the show for her was my individual posing routine. So the people were really digging the classic physique vibe and I felt like I really brought it and I really represented that classic bodybuilding, that vintage era and that look and the posing and everything. I really feel like I embodied that and, uh, and I loved it. And it was so much fun. And it really was the best show that I've had to date. So you know, what's next for me? I'm not sure. I'm gonna give that some thought. I'm gonna take at least a year off. You know, if my wife is thinking about competing in the fall, I'll support her just as much as she has supported me during this journey. Um, I'd love to see her do that competition and I'll back her up 100%. Um, I'll probably compete next year in 2019 to maintain my men's physique professional status. I'll probably do a pro show um, probably, and I think they do one in Massachusetts in the fall, so I'll probably shoot for that as my 2019 competition. Will I do more classic physique competitions? Absolutely, but probably not within the next year. You know, I really need to take a break. I really need to refocus, um, get back to my family, dig in and get my degree, and uh, you know, spread the attention back out through the rest of my life where where it really needs to be. You know, um, it was a tough on my wife and I's relationship and and the people around me, you know, this is a very selfish sport. You, you don't mean it for it to be, and even if you're not a selfish person, it creates that selfishness because you have to be so regimented. And for me, you know, and especially, you know, we have a six month old newborn, you know, I'm in school full time, more than full time. I have a very demanding full time job, um, and an internship. And so, you know, I have so much going on and my time is so precious that I felt like my time with my family really suffered. So I've got to give that back and that's really what I'm looking forward to. So I'm looking forward to you know, advancing in my career and my education and improving my family while maintaining and still continuing to build my physique but shelving the competition for the time being. And really, I just wanna just kinda just soak in this moment and and have this for my last show for a while because it was so perfect. So thank you all again for your support. I'll do a, uh, a download of the competition and my prep and everything a little later on, but I wanna take the rest of this weekend, it's Memorial Day weekend, I'm gonna have some fun and just relax. I'm gonna have some barbecue, some burgers, some desserts, some beers. I'm just gonna have fun with the family and just enjoy it and unwind. And I'll be back in touch soon and we'll really get into the details what I felt like I did great, what I felt like I could improve on for next time, where the ups and downs were, and uh, I'll show you my tracking and macros and all that good stuff. So thank you again to all for all your love and support. We'll be in touch.